Hello, my name is Uncle Menu, and this is the Restaurant Booming Fame. And today we are going to be talking about something that is very, very important. One of the most important questions most restaurant owners and managers or operators are asking, especially those of them who are new, or those of you who are new in the restaurant and food business. You would want to always know how do I grow or scale up my restaurant now? I have started, or I have new items I want to begin to offer in my restaurant or maybe I'm expanding my restaurant and I've come to a stage where I don't operate before and I want to know how do I scale these offerings up or how do I scale my entire new restaurant up and today we are going to be answering that question in this discussion but before I answer the question I would want to say something very important and that is if you do not have these three things I want to mention now, it will be difficult for you to be able to scale any restaurant at all. It is an honest insight. If you do not have these three things I want to mention, then scaling up that business will be very difficult for you. And number one of them is, first of all, deep understanding of your market. You need to understand very deeply the people you target to get by the offerings that you have in your restaurant. If you are offering light dishes, who are the people you've targeted to get to using that, those particular light dishes? And if you are offering heavy dishes or special dishes that are maybe meant for diabetic patients or stuff like that, who are the people you target to get to using those offerings? If you also have some maybe snacks or other small chops that you offer in your restaurant or you have in, uh, incorporated stuff like a bakery section, ice cream section and every other section that is different from the normal daily dishes that you have incorporated who do you target to get to using those offerings or do you just bring them up because others are doing it in their restaurants so deep understanding of your market and your target audience is the number one thing I think if you do not have scaling that business will be a problem because you can't get to somebody you do not know that you are looking for it is only when you know you are looking for this particular person that you'll be able to get to the person and even know how best to get to that person and secondly is good product development if the offerings you have in your restaurant the things the dishes everything you offer to your customers in your restaurant don't meet the standard don't meet the quality of that audience depending remember it is depending on the audience if you are serving the high class citizens or you are serving the high class uh, uh, people you should be able to come up to their level if you are serving the middle class or the low class all these things they have their proper places so your the quality of your offerings must match your audience if you do not have good products if you do not have good offerings if you do not have good dishes then it will also be very difficult for you to scale your restaurant because someone who is of the high class may not be able to find value in anything you're offering if it is of the low class or it is of the middle class remember this has to do with everything that you are doing not just your offering your decoration, your ambience. So all of these amount to the good product development that we are talking about as the second item you must have for you to be able to scale or to grow any restaurant. Then thirdly, you need to have what I call strategic planning. That is creativity on your own side because some of us in the restaurant space would say that the world does not need any other new restaurant. What does that tell you? That it is about uniqueness, it is about ingenuity, it's about things that creativity that you are able to bring into the uh, industry, it's about innovations that you are able to bring into your small business. So if you do not have a deep understanding of your audience and you do not also have good product development and you do not have any sense of creativity, any sense of differentiation, any sense of uniqueness and innovation, then it will be difficult, very difficult for you to scale a restaurant. But assuming that you have this three, then scaling any restaurant, scaling it, it doesn't matter the size, doesn't matter the capacity, will be really easy for you. Now, let us look at uh, some suggestions on how you can scale your restaurant. These things are what we've done for uh, personal brands. We've done for a whole lot of uh, brands that we've worked for and we are currently still working for. And they are tested and guaranteed the solutions to scaling any restaurant it doesn't matter the size 
it's just dependent on how you put them to you so let us look at them one after the other one of the methods of scaling or growing any new restaurants one of the ways you can achieve that very easily is to first of all reduce your cost you need to watch your cost of production i mean your general cost of production and there are a number of suggestions i will give you on how to watch your cost of production because if your cost of production at the time you are still starting it is normal that at the beginning stage the cost will still be high because of a lot of expenses and fixed assets you need to buy like some equipment to keep your operation going so all of those things are not things that you use once but things you will continue to use for a number of years so they will definitely contribute to the cost but based on the variable expenses that you make there are ways you should be able to watch your cost to keep them at bay and then watch what is going on first of all because at that stage you are yet to understand what the business is producing in itself so you need to watch these areas first of all before i now take you to other strategies that you will need to uh, add flavor to what you're doing and get your restaurant to grow so you need to watch your cost and number one way of watching your cost is first of all ensure that the number of staff you are bringing you are bringing in uh, at that first instance are the number of the exact number of staff you need you don't need to overcrowd the whole place i've seen a lot of restaurants that when they want to begin they you know create all the departments and stock them with workers so at this point my own advice is that you keep your number of staff to the number of staff that your business needs at that point in time maybe in our subsequent video also we'll talk to you about how you can cross train so that you'll be able to save up some cost at this stage and as your business grows of course you'll get a, a other workers involved as an at when due then another way you can also reduce your cost is to keep a number of vendors make sure you have more than one vendor those you buy most of the materials you use especially the food materials make sure you keep one of the vendors and what that helps you to do is to keep track of the cost of most of the things they sell to you sometimes if you have a particular vendor it is possible that the person may not be producing may not be giving you those products at the actual price so if you know what the price is for instance in the market you should be able to keep that uh, you should be able to juxtapose that with what the vendor is producing or is giving you but again, another reason why you need to have two vendors is to ensure consistency so that at each point in time, if this particular vendor does not have the products you need, the other vendor will have it because at that point when you are still starting, you don't want to run out of the key uh, dishes that your customers will want just because your vendors are not ready. So you need to keep track of that. Another thing you need to do in terms of cost reduction is to make sure that you keep track of your food cost and your plate cost. You should make sure you keep track of your food cost and your plate cost. On, of course, on the part of the food and plate cost, we have a video on that already on this channel. So if you have not watched the video, please go down to the channel and the link is also in the description box so that you get to understand what you should take care of as far as food cost and plate cost are concerned. Next, please do not overproduce. You don't want to waste your food products at this point. Remember, we're still talking about the first strategy for scaling your restaurant, which we are saying is cost reduction. So you don't want to produce uh, more than your customers require at that stage. You only scale it up. Remember, it is scaling up we are talking about. So you keep scaling as you get response from your audience. So do not overproduce. Of course, another thing you need to check as regards the cost reduction is your shrinkage. You need to check every other source of waste in your restaurant at this stage. So you need to check all of those sources of waste. They are referred to as shrinkage. You want to reduce the shrinkage as much as possible at this stage. At this stage also, of course, you don't need to smile at any worker who or employee who isn't careful about these things because your money will definitely flow out from that area so you need to watch that these are the areas you need to check as regards as regards a cost reduction at this stage the second step in scaling up your restaurant is to monitor the dishes that have uh, the most frequent order the ones that your customers that you already gathering at this point you know request for most of the time make sure that you don't run out of such dishes 
make sure you do not run out of ingredients for producing such dishes make sure that they are always available another thing you need to check as stage as step three is to check the dishes that have the higher profit among the number of dishes or items you started your operation with you need to check the ones that have the highest profit margin and position them on the eye of your menu every menu has an eye every menu has a spot where your customers are most likely to look at first of all before they check other items on the menu in uh, one of our subsequent videos we are still going to talk about the menu in detail so that you understand how best you are made to design your menu and not what some of the kinds of menu we see in most restaurants and it's really a very serious problem so we'll come to that in one of the subsequent videos so you need to check those meals those dishes those items that you offer that have the highest profit margin need to be positioned at the spots in your menu where your customers will spot them very easily so that you may you use that means to promote those ones that you know you make more money from selling as against the ones that you know people may also buy very often but they have small profit margin and that's why i said in the cost reduction that you must keep track of both the plate cost and the food cost that will determine which meal or which dish at this point should i promote more for people to you know patronize more in that area now the next step is to ensure you send your well engineered menu and hand bills to offices and homes around your area depending on the audience that you target with your restaurants and offerings so i also advise that you send those bills those menu to these people because you are not sending the bills and menu to them to ask them to respond immediately by purchasing or buying from you but you are creating awareness because this is africa and we understand our own market and how it works and i must say it some of you may tend to invest so much resources in online marketing and stuff like that but then in as much as you are doing that i would also say that your offline marketing should be the priority before you talk about the online marketing except you are operating a ghost kitchen it's a totally different thing and the audience also is a totally different thing altogether so please if you can afford it design your menu design very wonderful bills send them to homes and offices that are around your area let them know that you are now operational in this area and these and these and these are the offerings that are obtainable from your restaurant one more thing you need to also note is that there is no particular rule as regards you know sending your bills and your menu to homes and families or rather to families and offices because it is solely dependent on your concepts is dependent on the restaurants that you run and that's why most of the time we give this advice on how to scale a restaurant based on individuals we come in contact with so it is specifically streamlined to your area once we are able to understand your audience then understand what you're doing the concept you're operating on we can give you straight advice on how to go about scaling your restaurant and it works as simple as that we've replicated that in a number of restaurants already so please if your concept allows you to do especially these areas that we are pointing out one after the other on the general base please ensure you do it ensure you put your money as much as possible in your offline marketing more than you do in your online marketing of course the industry is growing and getting there and we will also carry it along once there is any need we see or any special effort we want you to make in the online space another step you need to take in scaling up your restaurants is to spread your audience base please this is very very important in growing your restaurant make sure you spread your audience base what that means is that you should have different offerings to target different people don't just focus on maybe offering light dishes and that's all you just focus on that please make sure that in depending on the location again you see why i say that we advise based on individual location because where you're located and your concept may not be the same with another person but we are seeing all of this now on the general note so you pick what is streamlined in your own area ensure you spread your audience base watch what others are doing you see how they spread their audience base so that if you don't make much sales from this angle you make from this angle if you don't make from this angle you make from this angle and that helps you to tailor your operation next is that you should be able to maintain good quality dishes and safe dishes from the world go make sure that your food are safe food safety is very very important everybody wants to live healthy and safe and your restaurant should be able to offer that solution to your audience so make sure you maintain a safe 
and a high quality dish consistently from the world go. The final thing you may need to look at as the final step for scaling or growing your restaurants, your new restaurants, is to discover the big thing in your area. You know, when we first started in our own location, that's why I said all these things are location specific. When we first started, our own big thing was we were located in, the first outlet anyway, was located in an area, in a university area. And from our feasibility, we discovered that the university itself was housing over 44,000 students and these are young people. So what we did was we quickly integrated online order and delivery system. So that really helped. It went in fact, it was the big uh, breakthrough. So you need to check what the big thing in your own area is. What are your people, the people in your area most likely to align with? What creates the vibe? What exactly is it? Is it maybe football or clubbing or whatever it is? Discover what is the big thing in your area and go straight to tap into it. And that was why also I called creativity as the third item you must have for you to be able to grow any restaurants. If you do not have the creativity, if you do, you do not have the quality offering to give to these people, and if you do not know the audience you're going to give these things to, there's definitely no, not no way you can do these eight or nine steps that we have listed to help you grow or scale any new restaurants. So you remember the few things that we mentioned already as the steps you need to take to scale your restaurants. Your cost must be reduced. You need to know the dishes that have the frequent, the most frequent requests and order. You need to know the ones that have the highest profit margin and leverage on it. You need to know the big thing in your area like I just mentioned. You need to understand if your restaurant concept gives you the allowance to send your bills or send your menu to homes, the families around and offices around to, you know, preempt them. And I don't also know what you did when you were opening your restaurant. Did you get as much people as possible on the day you opened up your restaurant? That is also a way of creating, you know, massive uh, awareness of your presence in that very location. I talked about food and plate cost also. Please ensure you check out the video on that. If you are new to this channel, do consider to subscribe and clicking the notification bell. That is the only way you get to receive all the information we are going to be pushing out to help you do better. And please also give this video a thumbs up because that will help the platform to push the video to as much restaurant owners and managers who need this to do better in their businesses as possible. See you in the next video.